as you can see, I have really, really bad scarring on my face. I have a really bad one here. I have a couple on my chin and along this side. The reason why I have scars is because, I'm going to admit, I'm a picker. I pick when I'm stressed. And during the whole nursing program, it was a very stressful year for me last year. That's why, you know, I didn't really go on YouTube or whatnot. Yeah, and I know a lot of women, a lot of girls out there have problems with scarring. And I keep telling myself, don't pick at it. Because it's going to take months, maybe even years, for these scars to, to fade away. What I can do is I can conceal these scars. I'm going to start off with a Smashbox this is photo finish um, primer. And what this primer does, it's going to fill in all your pores. I have very porous skin. That's why it's really important when you take off your makeup to tone your face right after. Because there is still dirt chilling inside your pores. And you want to make sure, since your pores are enlarged, or if you do have enlarged pores, you want to take that toner and really get into every little crevice. What this primer does is it fills in the pores. And this is this is a clear, this is like a clear silicone based gel. And it's just going to fill in your pores, not in a bad way, but in a good way. So, you know, this stuff doesn't sit in there and uh, make things worse for you. So, I suggest to always tone your face. Um, believe me, I know this from experience. So I already went ahead and put in two pumps. I'm using MAC. Um, I'm MAC NC42. I always start where my problem areas are. Because I know wherever I lay down my brush, that's where the most product is going to go. But I'm just going to... I kind of like stipple this on. I want a heavy coverage, you know. I want a heavy, I need a heavy coverage. I start on the bottom half of my face first because that's where I have the most problem. I don't have that much imperfections on my forehead. I, I, wherever I have less problems, I use the less, less product in that area. So I do my, I even add the skin tone on my eyelids as well. And yeah, so here I go. So I... Dab it where I most need it. And I work my way in. Because for some reason, the inner part of my face doesn't have that much going on. You just take the excess and just brush it where you don't need that much. Okay? If you guys have any suggestions on, you know, how to uh, reduce scars, fade them away, let me know down there. I think it'll be very informative for everybody that watches this. Okay. All right, now that we worked with the face, let's go into details, and I still have some foundation left. Now I find that concealers, after a while for me, I use, I've been using the, um, I've been using NC30, I'm NC42, it's about two shades lighter, two, three shades, I don't know. But it gets cakey, as I go about the day and um, I just notice it kind of like not just cakey it just really fades out and um, it just makes it more noticeable so lately what I've been doing is um, I've been taking the leftover foundation here and this is actually quite a lot I've been taking my leftover foundation and like a blendy brush like this now you can use any type of blendy brush it doesn't have to be like name brown Chanel Bobby Brown, whatever. This is Sonia Kashuk from um, Target. Works just as well. And I'm just going to take a little bit of product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stipple this. Stipple this on my problematic areas. And stippling it, because I'm so porous, it's going to 
further fill in my pores but remember you have that primer down it's just going to give the illusion that you don't have pores and it's just going to just fill everything in while concealing your dark areas okay and you just want to dab it as if you would do with your finger which we're going to do later on but um around my nose is really bad as well and right here around my mouth just get into those all those little crevices crevices is the next tool you're gonna use is your finger and you're just gonna just pat you know just pack in that product or have the warmth of your finger melt that foundation so you don't get that cakiness smooth out any lines or whatnot I mean your brush can do this but I prefer the finger I prefer the finger so as you can see it's concealed and you saw how dark those those marks were so I misplaced my mineralized skin finish I think I left it at the other house but um I'm just gonna take my HD Makeup Forever, just a fluffy brush. Take what's on the cap and just just lightly dust it on your face. This contains silica, so please don't inhale it. That is my face. That's how I conceal my scars. And if you guys know of any um, scar minimizing products out there, um, leave me a comment down below. And um, I will surely take it into consideration. So, um, here, I'll do a close up. You can still kind of see it, but it's not as noticeable. Let's see? Where's my chin? My eyebrows are done skis, but I'm going to go back in with my brows and I'll be back. I have my brows in so I don't look that weird. Um, no blush. This is just foundation that's been set with translucent powder. So, um, yeah. That is my scar cover up routine I hope it was helpful for some of you some of you guys probably have no scars I mean I see these foundation routines where you know they don't have to cover up much unfortunately I have to cover up a lot but um, I just wanted to share what I have to go through to look like I have perfect skin thanks so much for watching bye